Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Tuesday, August the 2nd. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 2. The Object Continued In the example of his own sacrifice, Jesus reveals the secret of bearing fruit. In surrendering himself to death, he becomes the source of new life. Lifted from the earth on the cross, he draws all people to himself. Clinging to life causes life to decay. The life that is freely given is eternal. O God, you resist the proud and give grace to the humble. Help us not to think proudly, but to serve you with humility that pleases you, so we may walk in the steps of your servant Francis and give and receive the gift of your grace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. God rules over all the earth. O come, let us worship. The Vanity. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the, in his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The psalm appointed for this morning is the first part of Psalm 78. Hear my teaching, O my people. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will declare the mysteries of ancient times. That which we have heard and known, and what our forefathers have told us, we will not hide from their children. We will recount to generations to come the praiseworthy deeds and the power of the Lord, and the wonderful works he has done. He gave his decrees to Jacob, and established a law for Israel, which he commanded them to teach their children, that the generations to come might know, and the children yet unborn, that they in their turn might tell it to their children so that they might put their trust in God and not forget the deeds of God, but keep his commandments, and not be like their forefathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation whose heart was not steadfast and whose spirit was not faithful to God. The people of Ephraim, armed with the bow, turned back in the day of battle. They did not keep the covenant of God and refused to walk in his law. They forgot what he had done and the wonders he had shown them. He worked marvels in the sights of their forefather, in the land of Egypt, and in the field of Zoan. He split open the sea and let them pass through. He made the waters stand up like walls. He led them with a cloud by day and all the night through with a glow of fire. He split the hard rocks in the wilderness and gave them drink as from the great deep. He brought streams out of the cliff, and the waters gushed out like rivers. But they went on sinning against him, rebelling in the desert against the Most High. They tested God in their hearts, demanding food for their craving. They railed against God and said, Can God set a table in the wilderness? True, he struck the rock, the waters gushed out, and the gullies overflowed. But is he able to give bread or provide meat for his people? When the Lord heard this, he was full of wrath. A fire was kindled against Jacob and his anger mounted against Israel. For they had no faith in God, nor did they put their trust in his saving power. So he commanded the clouds above and opened the doors of heaven. He rained down manna upon them to eat and gave them grain from heaven. So mortals ate the bread of angels. He provided for, he provided for them food enough. He caused the east wind to blow in the heavens and let out the south wind by his might. He rained down flesh upon them like dust, and winged birds like the sand of the sea. 
he let it fall in the midst of their camp and round about their dwellings. So they ate and were filled, for he gave them what they craved. But they did not, they did not stop their craving, though the food was still in their mouths. So God's anger mounted against them. He slew their strongest men and laid low the youth of Israel. In spite of all this, they went on sinning and had no faith in his wonderful works. So he brought their days to an end like a breath, and their years in sudden terror. Whenever he slew them, they would seek him and repent and diligently search for God. They would remember that God was their rock and the Most High God their Redeemer. But they flattered him with their mouths and lied to him with their tongues. Their heart was not steadfast towards him, and they were not faithful to his covenant. But he was so merciful that he forgave their sins and did not destroy them. Many times he held back his anger and did not permit his wrath to be roused. For he remembered that they were but flesh, a breath that goes forth and does not return. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <coughs> the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And this is the testimony of John, when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed and did not deny but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He, and he answered, No. So they said to him, Who are you? We need to give an answer to those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. Now they had been sent from the Pharisees. They asked him, Then why are you baptizing, if you are neither the Christ, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but among you stands one you do not know. Even he who comes after me, the strap of whose sandal I am not worthy to untie. These things took place in Bethany, across the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray first for Ukraine. God of peace and justice, we pray for the people of Ukraine today. We pray for peace in the laying down of weapons. We pray for those who fear for tomorrow, that your spirit of comfort would draw near to them. We pray for those with power over war or peace, for wisdom, discernment, and compassion to guide their decisions. Above all, we pray for your precious children, at risk and in fear, that you would hold and protect them. We pray in the name of Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Amen. We pray for the church throughout the world. We pray for the church in Ukraine as it struggles during this time of war and conflict. We pray for our bishops from across the worldwide Anglican Communion as they gather at Lambeth for their conference. We pray 
for the Holy Spirit to guide, to provide wisdom and discernment, that they may understand God's will for the church and for each of them. We pray for Bishop William, our assisting Bishop Larry, our Metropolitan Greg, our acting National Indigenous Bishop Sidney, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. We also pray for the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of Rupert's Land, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew. O Lord, guard and direct your church in the way of unity, service, and praise. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the world. Most especially we pray this day for those places in the world where there is warfare, famine, disease, man-made or natural disasters. We pray for Yemen, Sudan, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq and Iran, Palestine, Israel, North and South Korea. We pray for Russia, Ukraine and the United States. Give to all nations an awareness of the unity of the human family. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those around us this day who will feel the effects of systemic racism and prejudice. We pray for those who will be seen as unworthy, unwanted, or not seen at all. Cleanse our hearts of prejudice and selfishness and inspire us to hunger and thirst for what is right. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for those who will struggle today because of poverty or homelessness, those who will search to try to find their daily bread, those who will have to make difficult decisions about what they can buy and what they must leave behind. Those who will struggle to find employment or secure housing. Teach us to use your creation for your greater praise that all may share the good things you provide. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick. We pray for those in our hospital, our nursing homes, any awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, or isolation. And we give thanks for those who minister to the sick, for our first responders, our doctors, nurses, and medical technicians, mental health workers and social workers, researchers and scientists. We also give thanks for 7th Street Access, Samaritan House, Helping Hands, Safe and Warm, BNRC, and the Bear Clan. Strengthen all who give their energy or skill for the healing of those who are sick in body or in mind. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are filled with anxiety because of this world, because of pandemic, because of economic conditions. We pray for those who are struggling with family issues. We pray for those who are simply alone and unsure of what their future holds. Set free all who are bound by fear and despair. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant a peaceful end and eternal rest to all who are dying. We remember this day, Tommy and Allison, and your comfort to those who mourn. Lord, hear our prayer. In our prayers for the Third Order, we pray this morning for the province of the Pacific, for the Solomon Islands of Yazbel and Meladia. And we pray for Joseph, Judith, Tim, Marcos, Alice, Chris, Weber, James, Alice, Carolyn, Mike, Lystra, Bonnie, Ryla, Rosanna, 
Salo, Claire, Edna, Josefa, Antonio, Louise, and our companions William, Jane, and Gary. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray, that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, your Son, Jesus Christ, fed the hungry with the bread of his life and the word of his kingdom. Renew your people with your heavenly grace, and in all our weakness sustain us by your true and living bread, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen.